What's going on everyone? It's Brain Witch Code. You find jewelry, sure and personal jeweler. In this video, we're gonna layer like LeBron, the king himself. He took some simple chains, pendants, and pulled off an excellent look. And I wanna talk about the review it, show you guys how you can get the exact same look. With that being said, let's get started. I admire LeBron James a lot, not just because he won the Lakers a championship, but because he's worth millions and he's layering right going with super subtle setups like you and I can afford. And all these rappers flexing their $100,000 plus piece, half a million, whatever, we that's out of reach. And so it's nice to see a celebrity worth millions go with something, layering it right. Like I've been talking about for years, you could spend $100,000 on a piece. If you're not layering it right, it's not gonna look good. It's gonna look tacky. But if you watch the Jacoji videos and layer right, a $1,000, $2,000 setup is gonna look good. Trust me. So let's talk about it today. Use LeBron case in point. The first setup, and I reviewed this with the MJ video, is sh super short. So I went with a three millimeter, 18 inch rope. That's like most people watching. This is the look it's gonna get you. Next size varies, of course, with the mini angel pendant. LeBron has what looks like a three millimeter size chain with the Hamsa hand pendant. Again, you could use any. Not everyone's gonna want an angel or a Hamsa. I'm just giving you guys thickness and length recommendations. So you could use this advice and go do whatever you wanna do. And then I dropped another three millimeter rope because who doesn't like the double stack ropes with another mini angel pendant. So he has the double Hamsas and he mixes and matches. Depends on what picture you find. The most important thing as far as layering goes, guys, these mini angels are just over an inch in length. So if you want to go with like an 18 and a 20 or 20 and 22, make sure that, and you want some separation, want it to look like the look you see across the screen, make sure you got a pendant that's about a half inch to one one quarter inch max. Don't go above that or it's gonna start overlapping. I'll show you how that looks later in this video. But if you truly want that LeBron James look, go with something very simple, about two and a half, three millimeter, three and a half, depends on the chain. And then if you want that shorter look, and he's got that short chain look because as I'll show you guys in this picture, the pendant stays above the collar line and that's the whole point of the choker look. Like I talked about in the Michael Jordan review video. So LeBron has that short choker look with the pendant and then he drops another below that. I know a lot of people ask about different sizes going down. Can I go a little thicker? Can I go with a little bit thicker pendant? Yes, that is great layering technique. For the first clip was strictly LeBron James, double homsas, little thin chains. That is that 18, 20 inch with basic little pendants. And again, you can mix and match. I want to show you guys the three millimeter rope, 18 inch with the mini angel. And then I went slightly thicker just to show you guys kind of how that looks. My opinion looks amazing. A three and a half millimeter diamond cut Franco with the standard angel and I want to make more layering videos with this because I think it's just art when you layer it right and you have some high quality pieces and chains it's nothing but perfection so we have the mini angel and then longer with the 20 inch I bumped it up with the three and a half millimeter diamond cut Franco and the standard angel I kind of kept the same theme with the angels but the contrast looks amazing if you ask me some pictures when I was googling LeBron James he had a slightly overlapped look and this guy probably has more chains than Jacoji.com I'm not even worried about it. just because he has a little simple setup. I'm sure his inventory of what he has to wear is very vast. So he had a slightly separated look and this is that staggered look. Now, like I said previous in this video, it depends on the pendant size. That is true. So I went with the standard. I kept the three millimeter rope 18 inch and I put the standard size Jesus, which is a little bit longer lengthwise than the mini angel. And then I had the three and a half millimeter diamond cut Franco 22 inch with the standard angel. So if you kind of want a bigger look with your pendants, this, because the standard Jesus piece is longer, it's going to stagger slightly. And again, this is an incredible layering look. It really depends on your preference. I just want to show the different looks, the double stack kind of uniform like LeBron has with the Hamsas that we talked about, the mini angels. And then if you went slightly thicker with a slightly bigger pendant on that 20 inch, as well as the layering overlapping look slightly, which all of them are great. It's preference. So those are your options. Again, know what length, total length, your uh, pendant's gonna be and then space it out accordingly. Just because it's two inches, the difference between 18 and the 20 inch is two inches technically, but because it's split in half, it's only realistically one inch. So you have to keep that in mind. That's why I say keep it around an inch max because anything a bigger is gonna start overlapping. And again, if you really don't want that look, then you gotta go with something a little bit smaller. At the end of the day, props to LeBron James. I mean, really guys, 
Jacoji's the everyday jeweler. We're working hard for people that are working hard every single day. We don't make these crazy bust down pieces. So I appreciate when someone of that stature really takes the time, layers it right, and finds a value in that just like I do and I know a lot of you guys do too. So watch these layering tips to get the best. I got my three millimeter Jacoji Link 20 inch 18 karat with the mini angel and I love it. This is just good. It's just simple, but yet because of the quality and how I'm wearing it, the confidence it brings me, it does the job. And I hope you guys find that same value meaning with your everyday setups. That's it for today's video and we'll see you on our next jewelry video.